Ah, Rome. The eternal city. I have seen the end of days. And years from now, men will say, here began the fall of Rome. Those who wore the golden wreath grew sick with every kind of wickedness. And I saw in his hand a book sealed with seven seals, the first of which was broken. And behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and he went forth to conquer. Hello guys, we are back with another Western Roman Empire campaign. Fresh off our little excerpt where we were trying, or not excerpt, escapade where we were trying to corner the Ulsagoths. They are battered from their um, attempted seizure of Dermavera where they all, oh, they won the battle but did not stick around and just kind of sacked it and moved on. Uh, we have rebels popping up here. The Huns are affected by plague. And I've essentially abandoned Semivera to, um, well, to the whims of the rebels. I'll let the rebels take it. But uh, we're eventually going to fall back to this bastion here. And then if this gets compromised, we'll pull back to here to Aquilia. We may eventually have to do that. I'm going to have to retake Cilicia. That would be prudent of me. Retaking it would solidify this entire region and then defend these two access points here, 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 but we may have to fall back to just one, which is right here, Come and then down. the mountains. That's probably what we're going to have to end up doing, and put armies in each one of them. Uh, we also have the Macedons who have That's entered the on. arena, or Macedonians, or however you pronounce that. Let me see here. The Mercommons. 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 Yeah, Mercommons. Uh, we have a stout force here um, with the garrison, which is right here. Uh, that may or may not be enough. We'll see. We'll see what he has, but we do have extras plus a general plus this. We have no archers, though, and we could get up some mercenary German band, which would help, but uh, we shall see. And I think we're at the end turn. How's Spain going? Spain's going okay. We need to repair and then try and sort out that public order up there. Here we're at two. Can I get another? Can I get another governor? Let's see. All right, you military court. Cannot get you at military court. Can get you at master of soldiers. You master of soldiers. It'll help with my loyalty problems. There we are. There we are. Power is acceptable. So plus. And then power pitiful increases public order. And then if it's impotent, it negative two to loyalty and integrity to all forces, but it gives me massive public order. The more I get, the less public order I get, the more integrity I get. So there's like a, there's basically a balanced. I get, I get the best benefit. But this one's not too bad. I need to be right there at the balance marked. Okay. Then get you in. Soldiers, and I need a master foot, and then I need all the way up here. That'll help everywhere. All right. We're good there. Just got to worry about Hispania, and Hispania is making a move, and they are besieging this settlement with my forces intact. So we'll see exactly what they do there. I don't think it'll be that much of a problem. Alright, let's enter. If the Orthogoths flee towards Aquilia, it would be the best for me. Hello. All those Britannia factions have come. I should. Nope, they're not. You're seriously going to attack Aquilia. That's probably the worst thing you could have done. 
but their better troops are all pretty well like it this is not gonna go well for them at all so we have one unit of Hunnic or Step Cavalry. All their spears are intact, but all their heavy infantry are mauled pretty good. Basically, this is an army that, even though it looks ferocious and daunting, is really not that ferocious and daunting. And the main reason why it's not ferocious and daunting is the simple fact they're attacking a human player two archers it's this map too I can barricade that side we'll rush troops in so force them in and around put archers here and here to fire at them or here they'll come here in this direction they're gonna attack a two-way assault I would attack a one-way assault this way and this way and funnel my troops here and here and then in the Citadel that's how I would do it but I typically am fighting battles where I'm outnumbered, so you limit the amount of enemies because they'll defend everything. And the wise words of the great Sun Tzu, he who defends everything defends nothing. And that's essentially what I'm getting to right now. So I'm trying to defend everything in my empire and I'm defending nothing and I'm going to have to eventually prioritize. But I think I'm getting there. I'm defending Spain at the very least. Give me that will work. Come on, load time. Let's go. Let's go load. We're stuck on that last little bit. And I do have the garrison fleet, which will help. And a lot of it is, I think, swordsmen. So that'll help. The cavalry, they'll suicide their cavalry in. We'll cut it to pieces. And then their infantry will storm in. We'll have the towers shooting at them. Provide covering fire. And it's going to be... A pretty bloodbath of an occasion. Now, the Western Roman reinforcements with their onagers is going to be a problem, but I think we should be able to handle them without too much of a problem. Come on. I always remember Total War Attila having really, and I remember this when it first came out, and it hasn't really improved that much, really hard on computers. Like, the computer that I have should be... And it, it's running it just fine. It's just the load times are ridiculous in Total War Attila. That's what I remember. Um, and I remember those those are some of the complaints about it when it first came out was the load times. There we go. Alright. So we have this force here. Where can we put the barricades? We can put them here. Or here. Or there. I could put a barricade right there, and that would protect them, but then I'd have to defend. Okay, so. You're gonna go there. And you're gonna go right there. We're going to. We'll, we'll leave that open. It's better to defend the. Dude, heaven can probably can wait. Defend. You're going into the middle. You fall. Which way are y'all facing? Y'all facing the right direction? Yes, you are. So, Come two on, extra ahead. archer units. Understood. Ready. Two extra archer ready. unit, a sword you unit, and a ram unit. Mind. That is going to equal another sword unit, but it's going to be so small, it's really not going to matter too much. Alright. Um, the other spear unit. Right there. You're gonna stay in the center. To Ligio. Here, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to ensure that they, that our reinforcements get here. We won't defend the beach area, but we'll defend that area and give a nice little corridor to ensure that they get 
here and then we'll pull back into our inner ring like so. All right. Ready for orders. Let's go. Come on. Reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted. Come on, Doc. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Into the settlement. So, go back like so. Perfect. Right. You do that, and you start firing on the brigands. You run out of the settlement, and you're going to go that way. Try and get out of here. The tower has been totally destroyed. That's okay. Keep firing at those brigands. The enemy has been sighted. Give us strength. Fire at those raiders. Throwing our javelins at them. Legio. Legio. At speed. Scout General, protect him. These are the yes, the heavy infantry marines. You situate yourself over here. this small little force. You, redeploy. Over there, you archers are finished. You keep firing. Fire at whoever you wish. Just fire at somebody. Don't get some damage. You, you don't have many arrows. Keep firing. Alright, crush that. Kill that small little detachment. These guys will not be needed. Make sure that golf ball band does not come back. How are we doing? We're doing well. Certainly not terrible. Alright. Make sure those brigands don't come back. You spears, defend this entrance. Swords, come over here. You get up right there. Just be able to throw. We're gonna hold this from anything that tries to assault. That's fine. Right. Go after that moment, Joe. We're being ambushed. We are not being ambushed. How are we doing? Doing well enough. Who's this? This is social equites. Here. You got a job. Go kill me a job. Keep 
throwing. They're running. Right. Here. So that's the German nobles. That's the Palatina guard. They're going to be going after the tower. So move. Like so. Move down. Alright. General. Move over here. Oh yeah. There's now less of them than there are of us. Kill us a general. <coughs> Should be able to. Should be all we need to turn this in our favor. Keep up the fire. Fire at them. Keep it up. Whoever you're firing at, just fire. We got these. Yes, the orange is about dead. Coming from the back. Hit them. Well, the general is dead. A lethal blow. Don't know who. That's probably the barbarian general. Yeah, they're still high. These are actually better than they are, so we should actually win that. Ah. You come on in. Six thirty to twenty-five. The music in this is really good. I do remember that. They're normally pretty good with their music in Total War. Uh, or not Total War. Creative Assembly are. Shatter them. All that's left is this force. They're getting attacked by the tower. Which should lead with us winning. A hard fought victory, but eventually we will win. Exhausted and combat is even. If we had more of these guys, we'd actually be doing a lot better. Um, you come around and you'll flank them in the rear. It should break them. Go to those archers. Come on, men. Drive back to these orthodox for one scene for all. Auto resolve wise, they probably would have won this battle. But because the AI is what the AI is, when you're fighting this as a human player, you can goat their cavalry in. And that's how you defeat the Huns, is you fight them in settlement battles, if they will fight you. Settlement battles, wearing them down, and then fight them in the open field once they are completely mauled. Surrounded. Should help. Yeah, even though these are spears, we do have him surrounded. Keep up the battle. Should be able to kill him. Where is he? Does the Palatina God finally break? We're just gonna figure out where. victory. I would expect nothing less from the Emperor's legions. Sarfax has been killed, his army spent. Shattered on Aquila. If you had a full health army, it would have been difficult, but I still think we could have won that if his army had not been mauled. There. But they're stuck there, and so we'll eventually come through and just sweep them from the field. And we'll go north and deal with that. Visigoths are prevailing. Saxons just took that land. We have the Celts have come.
eventually we're going to shift some of our forces to the west in order to contain that. That is a problem for the Huns, but that's a problem they can solve, not me. I do like how slums don't get built whenever you have just open patches. That's nice. Can you deal with the Visigoths? Looks like they're mobilizing to try and deal with the Huns. Visigoths are holding a small little settlement there on the coast. The uh, Macarons, where are you attacking? You're going to attack there. So your plan is to attack a fortified settlement with an onager in it. Now we are depleted. But that's still not the best idea. Let's see what settlement it is. If, I hope it's not the circle settlement. Because if it is, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh no, it's not. This settlement could work to our advantage. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get the cavalry out. They only have one cavalry, which is perfect. The bulk of their force is Germanic with two units of pikes, and then three archers, and then two brigands, but they're big. This is their heavy hitters. Their spearmen are used to hold. These guys can shred my infantry. However, I do have some javelins and that onager. That onager is gonna be the key factor in all of this. If the garrison was fully healed up and this army was fully healed up, I'd say this is a no-brainer. <clears throat> Just trap them, let them focus all their attention in one area, and then cut them to pieces. So many enemies I'm fighting on so many fronts. The Spaniard is, is being held, so eventually I'm going to have to... Okay, so they're attacking here and here, so I have a choice barricade here and force them around or through so either defend this little section in that tower or warden off that warden off that all right you two you're gonna be my cavalry squad you because they're gonna be coming in right there there you, and that tower's right there. Archers there. Okay. Comitenses. There. Oh, I got three units of cavalry. Cool. You there. On what? Spears on that wall in case cavalry comes through, and we'll shower them. You, I want you to defend this little choke point right here. General, you there? Regio. You get Guard. there. On you get point. there. I'll force them this way. I could put the barricade there. See, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the barricade there to force them to here. Onager. Explosive rounds, and we'll put you right there in the center. General, General, I want you here and in mobile torpedo. And then what do we have? We have brace, so we'll pop that on those guys. All right. Can wait. The enemy cannot be allowed. To okay, so I need to control undo that group because. That allows me to move the group. There. So. The Alright, so the cavalry's over no here. Other okay. Stand ready. The area. These are my better men. We are heavily <clears throat> outnumbered. It's okay. Coming to Yours to command. Ooh, that's some good hits. Killed 15 of them and some of them. Perfect. As soon as they get within range, we're gonna unleash a devastating javelin volley on them. So that'll be perfect. You focus the brigands down. Brigands are gonna be the biggest problem. Ooh. There we are. Stuff. 
firing. It's okay. It's an ambush! Strike at the cavalry. Early. Fire your javelins. The tower has been totally destroyed. Warm up. Enemy units have been rallied. That's fine. Empty. Yep. Move. Back him up. Extremely close range, but that's okay. We'll crush those archers. Boom. Some very close range fire, but it's very effective. to this wall. Keep up the javelins. How are we doing? We've crushed their archers. Just chipping away. We're now about even. Get into them. Come on. Oh, that's a good hit. Another good hit. Oh, that was another good hit. Right into the front ranks. Get that. How are we doing? Doing okay. Get down here. Run. Okay. All these three units. Get over here. Oof. Some pretty good hits. Disrupting their lines. Keep up the close range fire. Rapid advance. Come on. Move. You're over here throwing your javelins into those pikes. You two break that. You stop firing. Attack those dramatic brigands. That should shatter this entire flank. It does. Excellent. Yes, Perfect. having that on it oh my goodness gracious 424 kills with those javelins 443 kills they killed 800 people between the two of them that is ridiculous oh my goodness gracious I mean, they killed 75, and I thought that was impressive. 424 and 443. 71, 70, 20, 164, 240, 204. Yeah, they didn't kill anything. Take on the warriors. Gonna go hide up in there. The Quadians have come. Bringing in reinforcements. However, I do not think that's a pretty sizable force, but there's no cavalry in it. And we got replenishment across the ranks in this force. Alright, Quadians. Step up the bat. We no longer have any of our towers, though. That's gonna suck. But, 
all of their range and all of their men is spears and then five slingers and then whatever the, and then the reinforcement is just a bunch of spears so this is actually going to be a pretty I have to do it right and have to lure them in but it's, it's going to be a pretty easy fight <clears throat> they have no cavalry so I don't have to worry about cavalry here Palatina guards! and they're attacking from one location hey alright so we'll put the barricade there and they're attacking on the only side that I have towers that is impressive levels of stupidity right there. Okay, so. You back. You go flank. You. There. Commit to Tenseis. You are going to hold this little bitty choke. And I don't want that stupid hold formation thing. Okay, you. Get over here. And we'll move you out as needed. Alright. Alright. Javelins. Javelin there. Javelin there. One unit. Like so. I want the archer unit. Right there. And actually. Actually get there. And you move there. You get there. Federati spears. Federati spears. You get there in case they move this way. General. General, you just kind of move up like so. That'll work. Move out. So we still have three towers up. They need to take our women and enslave our children. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Where are they coming from? All the way over here. So where my cavalry is. Okay, well, we'll go that way. And we'll just walk that way. It's okay. Run until you get our advantage around has been here, lost. and then we'll go there. Ah, we're focusing on that German axle. Perfect. And they got a few of them. These men are rushing this direction. Still have a f uh, the jab. Once they get close, the javelins will just be overwhelming. I want you to get right about here. I don't really care about these guys. It's not going to be a problem. How do they just disappear? That's what I want to know. Alright, yeah, so they're going to stay clustered. Hit them. Hit them repeatedly. General! Come on, fire! Ooh, that's a good hit. Set that building on fire, but that's the okay. Tower has fallen. Now that they're gonna get close, and that first unit is gonna brace a hailstorm of javelins. Our troops are being ambushed! Boom, 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 boom. That's another good hit. That's a bloodbath in there. You keep throwing those javelins. They are dispatching some troops. The enemy have rallied their units. It's okay. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Keep that taut. You back them up. Can't let them in. When they get in, our defenses fall. Shredding them with javelins. Fire the rivers. Yeah, they got beat back by javelins alone. Move over. Figure 
out the true power of the Western Roman Empire. The javelin. Jesus. Look at this. I mean, they got... How many kills they got? They got 258 kills right now. And the javelin alone. We are sitting... The enemy is attacking our general! Pieces of our city on fire, but that's okay. Move in behind. Oh, that's about to be a slaughter. Over. Garrison, move into position. The reinforcements are, well, way too late. What are we up to? The army is even. Now hitting them with morale breaking onager strikes. Oh, they're all the way up to there. Throwing into their backs. It's over. Commit. We'll, re we'll repair it. It's okay. Move through them. Coming plague. The walls are under attack. Turn about. Start firing at them. We're doing really well. They so far the most experienced right now. Should be the case. You get over here. Shattered all of them. Show the last of those hurlers. Gather up men. Prepare to repel the attackers. Get through them and go for the hurlers. Get it, we're losing, but like. Grace, they're retreating. It's just a mess. Right, Perfect. So he's dead. Probably all. Get him in. Those pikes are going to be difficult to deal with. Still fighting. Barely. Ah, right, move out wide. What's left of them? Just. 400, yeah, basically just the reinforcement force and the, the dramatic uh, troops that refuse to flee. Please don't suicide yourself in there. That would be appreciative. Legio, like, go get them. Javelin power <clears throat> is proving most decisive. Five, 
Quadians have completely been destroyed. They're pulling back. There shouldn't be anything left. And that will basically wrap us up. Hello, Londinium. Just do that. Eventually, these factions will go to war with each other. And now they're kind of unified under a common enemy, which is me. Western Separatist. Golic Rebellions are moving into position. Ooh, we might be able to win that. Hmm. Ah, it'll take 13 times to do it. And, um. Infantry is not really going to be the problem. Alright, well, we're going to end the episode here with this force, this battle. I promised you there was going to be lots of little battles, and it is. And uh, it's going to progress slowly, but um, it's going to be very impactful. So, without further ado, this has been more you here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And like, rate, comment, subscribe. Follow, uh, well, you can't follow me anywhere, but. Uh, not right now. Like, rate, subscribe, and if you have any suggestions, please leave it down in the comment section below. So, without further ado, this has been Moyer here. Have a good